Mercury is hot, but not too hot for ice. The closest planet to the Sun does indeed have ice on its surface. That sounds surprising at first glance, but the ice is found in permanently shadowed craters those that never receive any sunlight. Venus doesn't have any moons, and we aren't sure why. Both Mercury and Venus have no moons, which can be considered a surprise given there are dozens of other ones around the solar system. Saturn has over 60. Mars had a thicker atmosphere in the past. What a bunch of contrasts in the inner solar system, practically atmosphere-less Mercury, a runaway hothouse greenhouse effect happening in Venus' thick atmosphere, temperate conditions on much of Earth, and then a thin atmosphere on Mars. Jupiter is a great comet catcher. The most massive planet in the solar system probably had a huge influence on its history. At 318 times the mass of Earth, you can imagine that any passing asteroid or comet going near Jupiter has a big chance of being caught or diverted. Uranus is more stormy than we thought. When Voyager 2 flew by the planet in the 1980s, scientists saw a mostly featureless blue ball, and some assumed there wasn't much activity going on on Uranus. We've had a better look at the data since then that does show some interesting movement in the southern hemisphere. Neptune has supersonic winds. While on Earth, we are concerned about hurricanes, the strength of these storms is nowhere near what you would find on Neptune. At its highest altitudes, according to NASA, winds blow at more than 1,100 miles per hour. You can see Earth's magnetic field at work during light shows. We have a magnetic field surrounding our planet that protects us from the blasts of radiation and particles the sun sends our way. Good thing, too, because such flare-ups could prove deadly to unprotected people. That's why NASA keeps an eye on solar activity for astronauts on the International Space Station.